Hello everyone, Trigo's the name and this is my video game news cap for the week. So I usually try and stay away from cyberpunk news because I don't want like everything that my like videos are about the cyberpunk, but they still are in the gaming news, so let's keep talking about cyberpunk. Because apparently not only that like the stocks has risen up for like Cyberpunk just because Elon Musk is actually improving on the game saying that the game's actually pretty great So now everyone else is like oh, yeah, no, no if Elon Musk says it's great then yeah, it must be great um, Still waiting on those cat girls thing that he said he was going to do don't know how that's gonna pay out But be interesting to see how that works But not only that Cyberpunk is actually getting some modders in place like so that's really cool right like modders are going to be working on cyberpunk as well i think modders have done amazing work in the past with so many great things that they've been working on all the really cool stuff and they've done miracle work on like games that usually are not that great but then turned into masterpieces because of the community that are very passionate about the game but apparently some of these models need to calm down a little bit because one of the first things they decided to do is to change Keanu Reeves so that they can actually have sex with him. Which is like, wait, what? What are you guys doing? No, no, don't, don't do that, don't do that. You can help fix the game and put all the features that you always want in it, but please not have sex with Keanu Reeves. Like, this is for what Cyberpunk is saying, you know? Like, Cyberpunk is actually right on record saying that, guys, can you not have sex with Keanu Reeves? Please, can you not do that? Which I feel like if you tell the internet not to do something, they're going to do it to an extreme amount. So I feel like that's a really bad idea for them to do it. But, um, so I just think it's funny. Well, the main reason why actually it might not be the greatest thing is because whenever you like have characters that characters that are fictional not real having sex with them is not that big a deal because they're not real so that's why like it's not that bad if you take fictional characters and like put them in settings where you can do things with them because they're not real they don't only have any kind of thing to worry about but when you pick a character who's based off a real person you're kind of treading on very fragile ground because now that that person might not be actually okay with people you know doing things with them do things for them and anything like that because they have rights they're real people so you take someone who's a real person and be able to do whatever you want with them it's kind of bad i would say i would hate it if like something will happen like that to me or anyone else in my like vicinity that I care about so I understand why they want to tell people to stop making mods so that they can have sex with Keanu Reeves but to tell you the truth that's not the best way to tell the internet to stop doing something because it usually doesn't work out that way but what do you guys think do you guys think that the mods to have sex with Connor Reeves is a great thing and we should see more creativity in the modders. Like I definitely think modders are going to help out the game quite a bit. But do you think maybe we should uh, hold off on some of the mods that's going on? Because I don't think that's going to help out Cyberpunk really at all, even with the help of Elon Musk. <laughs> Another news I want to talk about is Amazon. So apparently, I didn't actually know about this, but apparently Amazon spends about $500 million a year in the video game division like section, which is insane to think about because has Amazon really released anything? Like there was the Crucible that happened that apparently was okay, but had so much like bad flack on it for just being in the beta that they just pulled it and now revamping the entire game, which okay. And then there's the new world that's coming out, which looks kind of interesting. Some people were able to get their hands on it, but again, they pulled that too. So we don't really know what's going on. So like Amazon, like where is all this money going to? <laughs> I don't know, like, like we haven't really seen much going on to it, and how long has this been going on for? Like, how many years have you been putting this amount of money into your division and not show anything for it? Like, don't get me wrong, there's probably a lot of things going on in the gaming division where, like, I don't know much about, so it might take, like, a lot of years to develop a really good game, and it seems like what the games they do come out with are pretty nicely polished to what I can find. And I don't think there's really anything wrong with it, I just think that, like, 
That's a lot of money to throw away, it seems like they're doing. And I guess it's Amazon. I feel like out of any company that can literally throw away money just to try things out and see if it works or not, it is definitely Amazon. They can do whatever they want. You know, like 500 million is probably not that much for them. But it's just a lot to put into a game division because I feel like that much money doesn't really go into even some of the high AAA title games. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you want to see Amazon like get some really cool games out there? Or do you think that money should be placed in better places? Like maybe a hiring of the delivery drivers. Maybe more drones, that'd be cool. I don't mind getting my del delivery done for my drone. That'd be kinda cool. <laughs> Another part of the news I want to talk about is that it looks like Warner Brothers has patented the Nemesis system for Shadow War and Shadow Mordor, which I love the Nemesis system. I think that's actually a really good system, and I really like the different aspects you can go for it, like how your character you can get can either betray you or became or become like a partner for you. I think that's just a really cool system they have made up, and actually made me really enjoy the Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor series. I remember a situation where I had uh, this one guy who I really wanted to get for a long time, who worked really hard trying to recruit on my team, and when I recruited on my team, he was still kind of iffy on it, but like I didn't care. I wanted to get on my team. So I got on my team, went over to go do like a mission, try and get someone else, and that guy betrays me, comes back and tries to kill me, but then my a uh, guy I've had in the beginning who I really liked was my pretty much my right hand man come by killed that guy and saved me from dying from that new guy I tried to recruit. I think that's really cool because that is not a scripted event. That was all about the Nemesis system. And I thought that was really awesome, really cool. I like how games do that because it makes it so that whatever I do in my gameplay, it will always be different than what you do in your gameplay. I love games like that where like we can play the exact same game and maybe even the exact same way but have different outcomes. I like more games like that, you know? Um, but apparently, with them patenting that Nemesis system, only Warner Brothers can use that Nemesis system. Which, one, I think is kind of lame, because I would love to see that Nemesis system be in other games too. You know, how cool would it be to see in like some JRPGs, or just some RPGs in general, like Fable, Dragon Age, the new Mass Effect. You know, how cool that would be to have a lot of really cool like games have that Nemesis system. Uh, but on the other hand, it's also kind of weird because you're taking a game concept and patting it. It's kind of like when PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds was trying to go after Fortnite but taking the Battle Royale system. It's like the Battle Royale system is just a game concept, it's a game mechanic. It's not something that you can really own. You can't really take that. You know, that's something that is very popular and a lot of people really like. You don't need to steal it as long as you take that concept um, improve on it or change up a little bit to make it a little bit unique then you're not really stealing it but it feels like when people are trying to patent in certain game concepts it makes it so that people can't try and improve it and improvise it because the Nemesis system is amazing but it does have its flaws and I feel like if you monopolize it so that only Warner Brothers can work on it it will stay the same as it ever was but if you give it off to other people to work on it you might see the Nemesis system improve to a greater heights that we've never seen before so I'm kind of bummed that they would do that I kind of wish they would maybe still like show it off to other people but that also means that we might see another like nemesis system kind of game it might not actually be a shadow of mordor or shadow war sequel it could just be another game with a nemesis system which i'm totally down for that system is really awesome i just kind of wish that there'd be more companies that can utilize it as well but what do you guys think did you like the nemesis system do you even know about the nemesis <laughs> do you even know about the nemesis system um it's a really cool idea, but should they have patented it so that only they can work on it? And if they didn't patent it, what game company would you actually like to see try to utilize the Nemesis system? That'd be cool to see some really awesome games try that out. I don't know, what do you guys think? The last thing I want to talk about is really actually something I think is actually kind of cool. Um, so, um... GameStop stocks. Not gonna really go into too much of it. I don't really like talking about it. <clears throat> I'm actually not really allowed to talk about it at all. But I do want to mention um, a really cool comic person. 
name um, Mer Merriweather. Merriweather. Um, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, he makes a lot of really cool anime theme like uh, comics. I've watched his work for a very long time. Well, he actually made one about the whole GameStop stock situation, which you definitely should check him out. I'll, I'll put him actually right here for you guys to check out his stuff because he actually makes some really cool stuff. Um, but he made a thing about the GameStop stocks. But what I want to talk about is that he made a GameStop waifu. He made a GameStop anime girl. I think that is so adorable. I love that kind of stuff. Like, can we adopt that as GameStop? Like, I'm going to go up to my higher ups next time we have like a game conference or something like that. If we have a game conference this year, um, I want to talk to them and show them this picture. Like, can we have this as a mascot, please? Can we just turn GameStop into like anime waifu? Can we please do that? I'd be so happy for that. Like, it definitely beats that Book the Bunny, I gotta say. You know, like, Book the Bunny, I wouldn't mind coming back, but if you can change it to anime waifu, guys, let's change GameStop and anime waifu. Can we, like, make that a trendy thing? Make GameStop anime? Dude, let's do that. I'd be totally down for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Like, I saw the picture. I was like, oh, my God, it's perfect. But anyway, um, that's pretty much going to cover it up for me. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the news. There's a little bit other things I could talk about, um, like the small stuff. Um, like some game delays. I know Bio Mutants found getting actual official release dates, so that might be pretty cool to check out. Um, or Riot Games still in pretty hot water for a lot of their like misconducts in the management division, which is a complete can of worms that I might go into later if it keeps at it. But I don't know. Do you guys want to see Riot Games news? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, and if you know about any news that I missed, definitely let me know in the comments below. I would definitely be interested in checking out a lot of this really cool stuff. Um, if you want to hear me talk about something specifically next week, I'll definitely go into that too. But until then, I hope you guys all, you know, have yourself a nice day. And watch out there, because there's some weird things going on in our society, and I want you guys all to be safe, please. Please be safe. Don't, don't do anything stupid. Okay, please. Bye bye.